Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, Nuts for Art. And um, I'm going to read again more of our book, Poisoned Power, by Dr. John Goffman and Dr. Arthur uh, R. Tamplin. And we are at the introduction, The Nuclear Juggernaut. Okay, so I read ahead. This is You guys are going to be shocked by what this guy said. Look back a few short... Oh, oh, introduction, Nuclear Juggernaut. Look back a few short years ago upon, upon the construction and attempted operation of the so-called Fermi nuclear power plant some 30 miles from the heart of Detroit. The events leading up to that fiasco are most instructive. We quote Briarton on this. Uh, Briarton, Gene Briarton, Friends of the Earth, wrote uh, Nuclear Dilemma, published by Ballantyne in New York, 1970. And I quote, the advisory committee on nuclear, uh, excuse me, the advisory com committee on reactor safeguards, a panel established by Congress to advise the AEC, reported on then, to then chairman of the AEC, Louis Strauss, on June 6, 1946. The committee believes there is insufficient ins information available at this time to give assurance that the PRDC, Power Reactor Development Corporation reactor, can be operated at this site without public hazard. Strauss suppressed safeguard, safeguards committee report. Motherfucker, really? Let's read that again. Wow. So who was this? In the Congress, Louis Strauss, the then chairman of the AEC, Louis Strauss, the probably one of the worst murderers on ever in the planet of the earth. Louis Strauss, remember that motherfucking evil name like Mengele. Motherfucker. The, the, to then chairman of the AEC, Louis Strauss, on June 6, 1946, the committee believes, and I quote, the committee believes there is insufficient information available at this time to give assurance that the Power Reactor Development Corporation reactor can be operated at this site without public hazard. Strauss suppressed the safeguards committee report and less than two months later the AEC gave its approval for issuing a construction permit. Motherfucker. After a series of court battles the U.S. Supreme Court finally permitted the construction of this nuclear power plant. In a dissenting opinion, Justice Douglas M. Black stated, quote, The construction given the Atomic Energy Act by the Atomic Energy Commission is, with all deference, a light-hearted approach to the most awesome, the most deadly, the most dangerous process that man has ever conceived. Get that, folks? That's the Supreme Court justices writing that. In way here, motherfucker. Oh my god, yesterday's news, I guess. Too fucking bad. Okay, let me get back to this. Oh my god. But such words of wisdom and caution are routinely dismissed by the pioneering champions of the nuclear juggernaut. The sad history of the Fermi plant is now well known by everyone. After an outlay of $120 million, this ill-fated atomic boondoggle failed on October 5, 1966 in its early stage of operation. 
A period followed where no one involved knew whether this entire city of Detroit would have been evacuated. Hello, Tokyo. We were lucky that such a secondary disaster did not follow the failure of the Fermi reactor. We emphasize the word lucky, and no one has expressed this better than Professor Edward Teller, who, by the way, is a fervent proponent of nuclear energy. So far, we have been extremely lucky, but with the spread of industrialization, with the greater number of simian monkeys, excuse me, number of simians monkeying around with things they do not completely understand, sooner or later a fool will prove greater than the proof, even in a foolproof system. Huh. As seen in the Eugene Register Guard, Oregon. October 7th, 1969. I cannot believe I live in Eugene, Oregon, you guys. Holy motherfucker. Let me read that again. I need a glass of water. Hold on. That's kind of funny. <laughs> that took me completely by surprise, you might guess. That's hilarious. That is completely interesting, my dear. Okay, so I want to read that entire paragraph again. So far, we have been extremely lucky, but with the widespread of industrialization, with a greater number of simians monkeying around with things they do not completely understand, sooner or later a fool will prove greater than the proof even in a foolproof system. Amen to that. I wonder who wrote that in the register guard here. I'll have to look that up. Another little piece of homework. Okay, back to the forward. The introduction, I beg your pardon. Yes, a nuclear juggernaut responsive, responsive to no societal needs has been moving across the, has been moving across the land, threatening a nightmare for life on earth forever. Holy fuck. This is why we are driven right now to watch a YouTube channel because we can't hear about it on that stupid fucking machine that sits over there that gives us football <laughs> and Survivor. Okay. I know I'm going to get some negative comments about the Survivor thing. Okay, yes, a nuclear juggernaut responsive to no societal needs has been moving across the land, threatening a nightmare for life on earth forever. Having come to appreciate the meaning and peril of the mad stampede to nuclear power generation, we feel it is urgent that all people understand how what now, excuse me, we feel it is urgent that all people understand now what they are facing so that constructive, positive action can be taken before it is too late. Those sponsoring this rash and dangerous industry are desperately anxious that the true facts be withheld from the public. Ha! Huh. I think we call that mission accomplished, folks. So uh, here we are reading this book, Poison Power, Dr. John Goffman, uh, Arthur R. Tamplin, both doctors, nuclear scientists. It is our purpose to understand how nuclear electricity generation may imperil your health, your life, and your property without any possibility for redress. Do you get that, folks? No possibility for redress. You know what that means? You can't sue anybody. Redress means you can't sue anybody. Wow. You must learn that this stampede is being foisted upon you undemocratically as it proceeds rashly and unwisely put 
to put all of our major metropolitan centers at serious risk. Hello, New York, and tritium leaking into your water. Motherfucker. Most importantly, you must learn that citizens do indeed have the power to stop the, this juggernaut and therefore protect their lives, their children's lives, and their property. You cannot count on government, industry, or anyone else. You must learn to act effectively. You must learn to act effectively. We must learn to act effectively. I must learn to act effectively. The public has been and is being deceived by a clever, well-financed propaganda campaign of delusions concerning, quote, clean up, cheap, safe nuclear power, unquote. Quote, nuclear power. Nuclear power has not, this is what he says here, nuclear power has not been proved to be clean. Nuclear power has not been proved to be cheap. Nuclear power has not been proved to be safe. We believe your consideration of all the evidence will lead you to agree that the nuclear fission approach to electricity generation represents the worst possible choice available to us. The evidence is not at all complicated. It encompasses three major areas. Number one, the poison, which is radioactivity. The poison, quote, radioactivity, unquote, is that is an inevitable byproduct. Number two, the unknown safety of the power generation itself. Number three, the attractive and essential alternatives available now and in the future. And remember, this book was written in when? 1971, I believe. Let me take a look at it again. This is stunning. This is stunning that this was written in 1971 and it was summarily ignored. And now we have Fukushima who has three nuclear power plants. Oh yeah, life is so much better now that we can just dump the radiated water into the ocean. It's perfectly fine. It'll take us 40 years to stop it, but it's fine. Perfectly fine. Fuck you. Honestly, like, this is why Kevin cusses. It's why I cuss. And you know what? I know it's not proper to cuss, but there are certain things that, like, reality, what are we going to do? It's our only outlet. I get back to this because I'm going to keep reading. Uh, it's only 1321. Okay. New subtitle, The Poison. Radioactivity represents one of the worst, maybe the worst of all poisons. And it is manufactured in astronomical quantities as an inevitable byproduct of nuclear energy generation. One year of operation of a single large nuclear power plant generates as much of long persisting radioactive poisons as 1,000, not 100, 1,000 Hiroshima type atomic bombs. Each nuclear power plant. Each nuclear power plant, folks. I don't know how anybody isn't angry hearing this. Like, I guess because you're not hearing it until I read it. <laughs> okay, I'll get back to this and stop being angry. There is no way the electric power can be generated in nuclear plants without generating the radioactive poisons. Once any of these radioactive poisons are released to the environment, and this we believe is likely to incur, occur, hello, the pollution of our environment is irreversible. They will be with us for centuries. It is important that people learn how 
they are likely to be exposed to such poisons, and how death-dealing injury is thereby produced in the individual and in all future generations. New subtitle, The Power. Hey, so look, I'm going to stop. We're on page 23. I'm at 1522. Uh, we'll read the new subtitle, The Power, tomorrow night. Uh, the Power. I think that's an appropriate place to stay. Let's claim our own power and let's be in touch with the real power, the power of the universe. And... Uh, Walk in love, you guys. We need to open our hearts again. That's what our gift is as humans. We have big hearts. We feel things in a way that other creatures don't, just like the whales feel things. We know this. We, we have an intuitive knowing. And uh, time for us to get back to being human beings. Human beings being human. So, ciao, you guys. Put your courage feet on because we need them. It takes courage to be a human being. Ciao.